Hey there dudes, I uh, hope for those of you that have still got brain functions, uh, regardless of the sodium fluoride in the, the water that you're most probably drinking. Um, now in Ireland they successfully took the fluoride out of the water um, by protesting. Uh, he successfully did this, big businesses threatened to pull out, um, I think it was Northern Ireland and I think it was Southern Ireland as well. But it's because of, uh, you know, pressure groups, um, starting petitions and so on that you can get things like that done. And I believe in the US there's a lot of petitions just now um, about uh, seceding from the union. You know, I just look around at the traffic today and, uh, you know, where does everybody think they're going? I mean, people are running each other over. Um, you know, the roads in the UK are getting narrower as well. They made them narrower, so it's harder to drive and it's harder for pedestrians to cross the roads. Um, I saw someone, well, I didn't actually see it, but someone did die locally in the roads uh, the other day and uh, I was just crossing the road. But it's just due to the actual design of things, the way things are designed, um, all the fencing and everything like that. Uh, it's very much um, the designer sees as cattle. Um, basically um, some of it is okay design you know it does stop accidents but most of it is uh, quite deliberate and it makes us actually um, have a certain spirit you know um, like a lemming you know a lemming basically just follows the one in front uh, doesn't have a brain um, if, if he wants to turn around he can't because of the traffic behind him and basically everybody with him they're all going in the one direction they all kind of know where they want to go but only the ones that actually are preaching the gospel are telling people, listen, you know, uh, listen, we all have to die. Um, you know, even though there may have been some sick governments in the past that have, uh, you know, herded people into trains and all whatnot and then killed them. And not just the Jewish people, but there were um, other people in society that the elite um, didn't find kind of useful to their plans or maybe Lucifer's plans or whatever. But the point is uh, that those of us in Christ uh, know uh, that we will inherit the earth, that uh, Yahweh has a plan uh, that the meek shall inherit the earth. Now, um, is, is what you see before you, is, is that meekness? I don't think so. Um, a meek person, I think, would stand still, would question the direction that they're going and humble themselves before the Lord and actually try to find a way out. Um, or if they knew uh, there was no way out then all they would be doing is preaching the gospel because they know that after they die um, they have to face the judgments they have to, everybody has to face the Lord so uh, basically I hope my videos are at least about uh, bringing consciousness to you that's the main thing like I'm not talking about Christ consciousness like this new age thing I'm talking about um, you know, kind of realizing that this world is uh, full of evil, um, but but yet that Christ did come to die 2,000 years ago for your sin. Um, you have to believe that, um, and you have to trust in the name of, of Yahweh, um, and actually believe that he sent his son into this world. Um, basically, you know, talking about leaders, church leadership, and so on, uh, it's pretty much non-existent these days. If you want to really do anything for the Lord, um, don't expect any church to support you because pretty much uh, they want to toe the line and follow the, the column sheeple or the lemming in front of you. You know, that says if you mention the name of Jesus, then it will be offensive and you don't want to give anybody a bad day by mentioning the name of Jesus. Well, if you've made it this far into the video, then... You know, you've managed not to be offended uh, so far uh, at the message I'm giving. Uh, maybe you find a little bit of humour in it. I hope you do. Um, but I guess, you know, tackling serious situations like this, uh, we, we need a little bit of humour. Um, there is a sp spirit of fear. The way things are designed, really, is to, to give everybody a, a, a spirit of tension and fear and not to speak out and just to follow the next person in front of you. And basically that mentality will get a lot, many millions of people uh, killed. You know, whatever the governments have for us, yes, 
unless there is uh, unless Jesus Christ intervenes and yet if he doesn't we know that our souls are still in his hands but if there is a rapture then I would urge everybody um, to get very serious with Jesus Christ with, with Yeshua right now if you don't know Jesus Christ if you don't really take uh, what's happening around you seriously you can see the signs um, but it's just like Nazi Germany. No, no one even believed after the war that anyone could actually set up concentration camps and kill six million people. Now the British actually did this in Africa. Unlike the Nazis, it wasn't a racial thing, but it was fought between the Boers, which were mostly Dutch settlers in South Africa, and they had to set up concentration camps um, to basically stop the farmers from fighting against. Uh, basically their their right to, to work there and so on and uh, ended up, I think there was about 20,000 people that were killed at that time, obviously nothing like what happened in Nazi Germany but I mean, there was a great outcry in Britain at the time, I believe it was around the turn of the century last century uh, 1900 um, but um, you know it has happened before the second world war and we're being told now that uh, there are many concentration camps, especially in America, that have been seen by th literally thousands of people. Uh, I know a brother, of course, um, that has left to to Greece. You know, he's been a, he's been a long time uh, YouTuber. I haven't kind of seen his videos for a long time. Don't know if he's still around, but you know, uh, some people have actually left the United States, but. Uh, you know, uh, the Lord, you know, he, he, he tells us to occupy in, in, until he comes back. And uh, that's exactly what we got to do. If we can't actually um, get out of where we are, then just know that uh, Yahweh, that God is with you. Um, that, you know, have faith and actually ask the Lord um, if, there's, if there's going to be a rapture that, you know, that you're ready um, to be delivered. Um I, I, I do feel there will be a short period that, um, you know, if, if a war starts, I don't think the rapture will happen straight away. Uh, this is just basically me reading um, some prophecies. Obviously, there's, there's Liz Elijah. I, I remember sending her an email a while ago. I know she's on YouTube. so many channels. I can't, I can't really uh, speak to her very well, but I've read the prophecies. I know there's a couple of people contacted me about that. Yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm Kind of a way. I've not read them all, but uh, yeah, I know that um, Liz Elijah, her prophecy says that the body shall actually stay even during a uh, alien invasion. Um, but we just have to make sure that we're covered by the blood of of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, and that uh, basically we're living a holy life. Um, that's that's what we should be doing. Um, and there's Mama Cass as well that's telling people, obviously. There's a lot of demons being let out of the abyss, and um, you can't really argue with that because, uh, yes, I, I would agree with that. I, you know, I, I amend that as soon as as soon as he came up with that. So, uh, you know, this hope and change that Obama has promised America, well, is certainly coming now. It will certainly, you'll see the the change, the type of change that Obama has been speaking about. And uh, it's, it's a heads up for all of us, um, even the truth or movement who are. Not met, some of them are New Agers and whatnot, but they can even see uh, the evil that, that this man is is actually doing. Uh, you know, as an onlooker at America for the past maybe ten, twenty years, you can see the great corruption in the actual legal system. And if I was a foreigner wanting to conquer that land, I would definitely go there as a lawyer. And that's exactly what Obama has done. He's trained as a lawyer. And he's worked his way up in politics. <coughs> Obviously, got a lot of people behind him, powerful uh, people behind him. It's very obvious as well, you know, when they're they're not um, condemning books like Harry Potter, and um, they're actually just freely um, casting spells, teaching their children to cast spells. I mean, it just shows you the spirituality. Uh, that is in the White House today. Um, it's not just Obama; it's obviously the entire government system. And this is, I guess, is why the Americans want to secede from the Union. I think there's a word today from uh, Brother Soldier for Christ. I watch his videos. Um, yeah, and uh, he says that it's a plan of Satan, that he wants people to succeed from the Union. But I don't know about that. I mean, 
people want to protest. They they, they don't want this centralized power um, in the White House. They they you know they basically want to uh, concentrate the the power in your own estate, which is understandable. Uh, so either way, um, you know, devolution has been happening in the United Kingdom, and that's sort of thing I want to talk about. Uh, the fact that you know I actually voted um, for Alex Salmond, who's an SNP uh, politician. Um, basically, his main drive is to uh, get Scotland. Scotland does produce an awful lot of um, natural wealth, and something is it's a very high percentage of what the UK actually produces. Um, but it's obviously spread out to the rest of the United Kingdom. But what he's saying is that if uh, Scotland keep it for itself, then it'd be one of the richest nations of the world. You know, it's got lots of pure water, oil, um, even I believe there's gold um, in some of the the hills. I'm not entirely certain about that, but I know there's some. There used to be people that um, got nuggets of gold down in uh, the south of the country. You know, made their wedding rings and so on. That, that was enough for them to get married. So there's there's a, a a lot of natural wealth in Scotland, but what's you know, what's actually happened is that uh, to get this uh, independence, then basically the rest of the politicians have made Scotland uh, lead the nation for things like gay marriage, uh, especially gay marriage. You know, that's the thing that's came up the past few months. Obviously, um, you know, the spiritual... Uh, the spirituality of a nation is more important. You know, it says in the book of Proverbs that uh, sin is a reproach to any nation. You know, for, so for Scotland to be independent, it's got to keep its moral integrity. I'm very, very surprised actually, Alex Salmond, letting this happen um, without any type of fight at all. They just seem to want to accept it to get Scotland independent. And then once it's independent, um, it'll have to legalise what gay marriage and other, other things that... Uh, you know, people in London want want them to do so that it spreads throughout the UK. So the United Kingdom is at a very, very important stage, stage just now that it should be standing up and basically voicing, protesting against uh, what these obviously new age um, politicians, Luciferians, um, actually want to bring through. Um, and again, you know, the, the church leadership is nowhere. It's not standing up or doing anything. So... Um, you know, so will it be better for Scotland to be part of the Union or be National Socialist, which really is what Alex Salmond is. He's just uh, a National Socialist, if you look at the way his politics is and everything like that. And that's exactly what Hitler was. Um, so, uh, you know, you can t kind of take a deep breath and a step back and say, well, it would be nice for Scotland to be independent, but, uh, yeah, I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> um I guess it's too late. If you voted for Obama and if you're in America, um, um, it's too late now, you know, to change your mind. Um, if you didn't know already what, what he's been doing and what's happening, if you've not actually spoken out against uh, the live birth abortion, the gay marriage, the dozens of other um, terrible, immoral uh, things that he wants to bring through, he's already brought through, then I don't know where you've been, especially if you're a Christian, I, I really don't know where you've been. Um, you've been you've been missing. <laughs> uh, even if you've been here, you're you're, you're missing. Uh, you know. Um, so we really got to stand up, and uh, this is what will happen in the end. Basically, if nobody stands up, that that's where the government wants to send people over a cliff. Um, in a spiritual sense, you know, when we're preaching the word of God, we're actually telling people to repent. It means to turn from your sin. It means to turn the other direction, and you can see. Uh, you know, the sea of people that are heading towards the cliff and it gets harder and harder as, as you get towards the edge to turn back, you know, and sin is a little bit like that. I still watch Joe Talk 100 and, um, brother, you know, just uh, please take heart and know that Jesus Christ has a plan for your life. Don't get too depressed, you know. Um, this is what the Jewish leadership uh, tried to do to Yeshua, Jesus, after he spoke to them in the synagogue on Yom Kippur. Uh, when he read out the scripture from Isaiah. So please, brothers and sisters, know your eternal destiny is with Jesus Christ and take heart and do stand up for the issues around you. Uh, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.